primary reason we're really focusing on this region because it turns out that it could be an important region to global climate. The agullus forms um, an important part of what we call the global thermohaline circulation, which if you like is kind of the simplest way to describe um, how the ocean and its currents um, link globally. And this circulation involves not just horizontal currents in the ocean, but also what we call overturning currents. So um, currents that transform waters from the surface to down deep. And it turns out that the agullus um, is an important part of that process, and it returns warm and salty waters into the cooler and fresher Atlantic Ocean. And when it does that, it introduces what we call a density anomaly. So it introduces waters of a different density into the Atlantic. And that means it can precondition the Atlantic um, and its overturning circulation um, to change. There's a lot of research uh, over the last 10 years or so to show that this overturning circulation is one of the primary ways in which the ocean um, participates in changes in climate. You can think of it in the simplest terms as the way that the ocean participates in transporting heat around the globe. So if you change the amount of heat that the ocean transports, then you're going to change the ocean atmosphere climate system. You're going to change something fundamental about that. Presently, for example, the IPCC models um, that people look to to predict the next 100 years of climate cannot resolve the agullus system and its leakage. It just can't resolve those eddies um, and the, the dynamical constraints on the leakage properly. And so this means that those climate models might not be able to predict future climate um, uh, correctly. Because if we really think that the agullus is an important part of, of, of the puzzle, then we need to resolve how the agullus is changing, particularly in response to uh, current global warming, for example. So part of what I hope this nature paper will do is um, make people aware of the potential importance of this system, of the amount of evidence that we have so far, but also of the, you know, of the kind of the fact that we need more research in this region. There's a lot of unanswered questions. There's a lot of things we don't understand. There's a lot of evidence that doesn't necessarily add up. And um, so it's really a call to the research community to come and um, put some effort into this system and understanding this system, make more measurements of the system, to run climate models that can resolve the system.